Welcome in to Layton High School for KSL Sports Rewind's coverage of Davis High Basketball on the Rewind Sports Network. We've got, in essence, your Region 1 championship. The Davis starts on the road to take on their rival, the Layton Lancers. Thank you for joining us, everyone. My name is Dane Stewart. Boy, what an environment. What a game we have coming up for you here tonight. Davis coming in overall 14 and 5, 5 and 1 in region play. They lost to Layton at home just a couple of weeks ago, 72 to 70. And there's no doubt that the Davis Starks looking forward, hopefully for a little bit of revenge tonight on the road. We talk about some of the leaders of this Dart squad. Coleman Atwater, fantastic year, 15 points per game. Zach Fisher, the senior, 15 points per game, six boards per game. A lot of other guys that can contribute, step up, make big time shots. They're gonna need contributions from the depth of the dart lineup tonight as they go up against maybe what might be the strongest or one of the strongest rosters in all of 6a in the Leighton lancers Leighton coming into this game 18 and 1 overall 6 and 0 oh in region play and when you talk about the strength of a lineup Leighton one of the first teams that comes to mind Makai Martin the 6'2 senior 18 points per game four boards three assists excuse me five assists young man can do everything David Katoa wasn't here to start the year. He's here now. Had to work through health. He's healthy. Boy, is he healthy. 18 points per game for Katoa. K.J. Miller, 14. Sam Romer, 13. It is a loaded lineup for Coach Kelby Miller as they look to continue their winning streak and hopes of essentially creating a two, well, it would create a two-game lead here in Region 1 play. It's not official, but tonight, for all intents and purposes, may very well be your Region 1 title. Underway, Davis in the road dark uniforms, Leighton in the home whites. Want to remind you, our clock is unofficial. We do our best to keep that synchronized with the official clock here in the gym as the first bucket scored by Davis as they work inside to trade in Bessinger, the 6'4 sophomore, able to score his first bucket tonight for the darts. First possession for Leighton. They work over. This is Katoa. Young man coming home to Layton, skips over to Makai Martin, that three won't go, and Atwater with the board. Into the corner, Zach Fisher trying to drive baseline. Nice take there by Zach, and when Zach is dialed in, that is good news for the Dart faithful, as what a drive there, very intentional from Fisher. Here's KJ Miller, talked about him in the open, what a shooter he is for Layton. They got a lot of them. This is a long shot for KJ off the mark, rebounded there by Davis. That was kept by Caleb Taylor. Layton thought he might have been out. He was not, according to the officials. Bessinger in the paint, looks over, three on the way from Taylor, rattles out, and KJ with the board. It's not officially standing room only, but boy, there are not a lot of open seats here at Layton High School. We were here 90 minutes early couldn't park in the parking lot. A lot of anticipation for tonight as KJ's three won't go 0 for 2. The start for KJ here at home. Fisher. Ah, he'll take the pull up three. That was off the mark. And the Leighton faithful will let him hear it. KJ pushing. Kicks out. Three on the way. That is good for Sam Romer. First Leighton field goal tonight. It's a triple for the junior Romer. Here's Ike Morgan back with Taylor. Atwater trying to drive. Sends over, three from Morgan is short. Rebound gathered there by Cade Tidwell. KJ cut off on the drive, gives it to Tidwell. And gets the friendly roll at home. Well, I didn't know if that was going to go down for Tidwell. Davis didn't think it was going to initially, but the friendly home rims. Here's Bessinger. Oh, that's a tough pass, trying to feed it. There for Fisher, taken away by Katoa. KJ fouled here on the floor. As you see, KJ trying to push it there. This foul going to go on Taylor. That'll be the first on Caleb. First team foul for the darts. 
Good pace here in this first quarter. Up and down the floor, just three minutes in. Little space created by Katoa's just off the mark. Rebound to Morgan. Somehow finding his way through and keeping that was Taylor. Here's Atwater. Ike looking for help. Gets it over to Fisher. And we're tied up at six. Good eyes there by Ike Morgan. Able to find his big man, Zach Fisher, for the finish. KJ, and offensive, yep. First personal on KJ Miller. And the first team foul on the Lancers. Two packed student sections tonight for this great rivalry, the latest edition of Davis Layton. Talk about that first game, a two point battle. Layton was able to squeeze out in Kaysville. Looking for entry, that intercepted. Nice job by Romer. Leading it up for Makai, who a blocking foul here going to be called there on Taylor. And Makai Martin bounces up. Good to see he's okay. That'll be the second personal on Taylor. And so two quick ones on Caleb as Makai Martin here with a pair of free throws, as this was called on the shot. First for Makai, good lead back to the home side. Martin. Boy, crazy to think he's a senior. I've seen him play for multiple years. They, they grow up so fast. One of the very talented seniors on a roster with a lot of youth. And there's Ike Morgan, speaking of seniors, able to score for Davis. His first points tonight, tied up at eight. We're talking about a young roster for Layton. They do have their fair share of seniors as well. KJ a senior, Katoa a senior, Tidwell a senior. As that man is not, Sam Romer, a junior, hitting his second three tonight giving the lead back to Layton. In the block taken away by Katoa, run out for Romer. David gonna keep it himself, end to end. Through the contact, no call there, as Davis gets the rebound to Fisher. Fisher, and walked with it, yep. That's legal maybe 25 miles south of here, but not legal in Davis County. And so we will head back here with the Lancers. Of course, I'm referencing to the NBA for those who are uncertain. It's a, that's a professional move. We just don't allow that in high school these days quite yet. Give it time. Turley has checked in for Davis. And KJ able to fight through contact there to keep it. On the drive, in the paint, a lot of contact there. Turley, I believe, going to be called for the foul. Indeed, that's the case. JT picking up his first as KJ now will work to the line. 13th foul on Davis in this first quarter. Two free throws here for KJ. That one's short. Second for Miller, yep. Turley gives to Atwater. Here's Easton Rouse. Young man came over to Davis, has been really good for this dart squad, at least in games I've seen. A nice post presence, good post moves, can step out as well. 
Shot clock down to five, and we've got a foul. Going to go on Layton. That'll be on Martin. His first. Makai, I should say. Fisher checks back in. Meanwhile, Jonah Fulmer is checked in here for Leighton. Here's Atwater. Thought about that three. Good close out there by Makai. That might have been deflected by Makai. Makai dribbled it out off of his foot, and it will go to Davis. The Leighton fans thought that it went out off of the Davis foot, and the trajectory, they might have a case. The official there, though, deeming off of Leighton, it'll go to Davis. Two to play, opening quarter. Here's Ralphs in traffic, knocked away inside by Josh Checkets on the run. Left it short, tapped around, gathered and kept. Other opportunity, couldn't get it to go. Checkets, foul, and Checkets will head to the line here to shoot free throws. This foul on Zach Fisher, his first. And so two free throws now for the 6'8 junior, Josh Checkets. As Leighton has gone to the free throw line often in this first quarter. First one good for Checkets. Romer back on the floor here for Coach Kelby Miller. As Checkets makes them both. Largest lead of the game for the Lancers at six. Where does Davis go for offense? Turley off that screen. Kept the pivot, now in trouble with Checkets. Trying to slice through, denied. Checkets with the block. Layton on the run. Romer over to Mackay. Trying to drive against Morgan. Sends out. And now Layton here will take some patience. Mackay, oh, and an offensive foul going on Mackay. That's the second that Ike Morgan has drawn tonight on this Leighton group. But maybe most notably, Mackay having his second personal will have to come off the floor. Boy, our Ike Morgan right now, that young man. It's like a credit card. He's drawn charges left and right. Here's Atwater. He'll pull up from 17. Won't go. Tapped wide late in basketball. Bessinger ready to come on the floor as Coleman Atwater will come out here inside of a minute to go. Inside, denied by Fisher. Turley, try to give it back out. Katoa able to intercept and deflect. <laughs> Morgan around that screen, gives to Bessinger. Fisher stood up there on the defense by Checkets. It's a good stout body for this Leighton D. Shot clock approaching 10. Turley sends out Bessinger the three. Too strong. Ralphs with an offensive board. Too strong. And now uh, do we have a goaltending? Yes, we do. Interference there. They'll credit the bucket there to Ralphs. Final possession, potentially, of this opening quarter. 14-10, Lancer lead. Tough shot, count it. 
It's the freshman, Carter Miller. We did not talk about him in the open, but a game earlier this year, that young man, he's got a future. He's got a chance for a three-point play here. Can push it to a seven-point difference. And that shot won't go. Fisher with the board, the heave, and that will do it. First quarter in the books. Layton with the lead, 16-10 over the Davis Darts. You're watching Davis High Basketball on the Rewind Sports Network, presented by Heidemann and Associates. Start of the second quarter. 16-10, the advantage. for Layton. As they'll have the basketball to start the second quarter. Trying to fend off some foul trouble. As they'll draw the contact, Katoa able to score it as Fisher picking up his second for the darts and a chance at a three point play now for David Katoa. The Davis students right now, maybe a little early for that chant, is the free throw good. Makes it a nine point lead for the home side to start off quarter number two. The foul starting to add up as well. Two for Fisher, two for Taylor for Davis. As Morgan gonna come back on the floor here for the darts. This game was tied up at eight. It's been an 11-2 run for the Lancers. And a five second call. Layton denying the inbound. Able to get the possession back. What well, a good start here for Coach Miller's group. Here's KJ. Off that screen, sends out extra pass in the corner. Float up baseline. Jonah Fulmer with his first bucket tonight. Fisher. Looking to drive on Katoa, holding that and scoring. Good take there for Zach Fisher. They need him to find the offense here for Davis as they're looking for some of that depth as Katoa's first shot won't go, goes back up strong and scores it. Second opportunity for Katoa as he's got five points all in this second quarter. Oh, what a response. And a timeout taken as Zach Fisher, we talked about Davis needing him, five points in this second quarter, nine in the game to pace the darts. Timeout, we'll be back. Welcome back. Six and a half to go, second quarter, eight point lead. Davis coming out. A little bit of a zone look here. Able to free up Fulmer, that rattled out. Atwater had a running start. Layton able to get back. Coleman trying to drive. Oh, what vision. Beautiful find. Able to get that over to Caleb Taylor. A little head fake intercepted by Morgan. Ike giving to Fisher. And here come the darts. What was an 11 point lead has been cut to four. And boy, a foul called up top here. This one gonna go on Caleb Taylor and that'll be his third. And for the Lancers, number one, 
Makai Martin checking back in here for Layton. Taylor staying on the floor here. Makai playing with the two personals. Gives inside Katoa. Big second quarter for Katoa. Bessinger trying to go up against Makai. Nice take there. That's a good job by Makai, recognizing he's got a couple fouls. Doesn't want to pick up a third. Just stay vertical. Try to play as good defense as you can. Well, 3 2 here. Katoa stepping around Bessinger. I have an old saying you don't poke the bear. The late, or the Davis students maybe got a little poke happy early on. Oh, Coleman at water. Rattling in a three from the corner. It's a one possession game as Atwater scoring his first points tonight. Baseline opened up. Sent out, extra pass. Romer through the paint, step around, is blocked by Fisher. Davis coming out on the run. Morgan leaves it. That three, too strong. Good open look there for Taylor. He just missed it. Mackay. He'll take the three, knows it's off. Long rebound, finds its way to Romer. Back to Martin, in the corner. Tidwell, no. And a loose ball foul, this gonna go on Layton. The home side not liking the call. Sammer, Sam Romer will be called for his first. No, they called it on Fulmer. Fulmer's not on the floor, so. Oh, they called it on Taylor. My bad, I thought they pointed the other way. And so Caleb Taylor having to come off the floor here as he has picked up his fourth personal. And that's the risk, play, leaving a player on with three. And Caleb Taylor now gonna have to be out for a considerable amount of time. Crafty take there by Romer. But uh, that turned over instead. Fisher. Atwater, tough pull up from eight. Able to just get that to drop in over the front of the rim. And that one will stay here. You say last touch by Davis. A 15-5 run here from Davis. Check it's back on the floor for the Lancers. Inbounded, Romer, another three. The third of the game for Romer. Bessinger gonna try to drive on check, it's denied. Katoa able to keep it. Makai looking to drive, got a step, couldn't finish. Nice job by Connor Swap in defensively. He's got it here. Sends out Atwater. No. And Morgan here going to be called for the foul. And that'll be the first on Ike.
Well, that's a tough pass by Chekets. Davis read it well, had multiple defenders there to take it away. Morgan on the trail. And the Davis offense has found its groove now. Back to a one-point difference. Martin gives to KJ. He'll dial one up. Bottom of the net for KJ Miller. His first field goal tonight. It's a three-pointer. Two to play here in the half. Fisher. Trying to work on Katoa, gives to Morgan. Plenty of time for Davis to work. Bessinger, an open look, and hits it. The student section saying, that's my quarterback, as he hits his first three. Seven in the game. Layton, that three won't go. Offensive board couldn't be corralled by Katoa, and Morgan is pushed out of bounds there by K.J. Miller. KJ will pick up the foul, and this is one, it'll be his second, but that's one where if Morgan doesn't come across that end or that sideline, there's no call. But because of the contact forces him out, the officials there making the call, and I think the right call. So KJ to the bench, having just picked up his second. Makai's gonna come off the floor here as well, as we're inside of 90 seconds left in this half. One point difference, late substitution for Davis, Easton Ralphs checking in. Here is Ralphs. Gives it back out, plenty of time. Morgan trying to drive into the corner. Fisher, tough angle three, doesn't matter. The lead to the darts is Zach Fisher hitting another three. The answer, Katoa, no. Check it with the board. Romer, he's been dialed in. That one won't go. Check it's another offensive board, draws the foul. And it will be Josh Check it's to the line, shooting two more as Bessinger here called for his first. Check it's two for two on his first trip in that first quarter. Another trip here with 45 seconds left. 46. And his first free throw from Check gets. Confident free throws for the big man. Four for four from the line, unofficially. Atwater gets the switch. Trying to drive on Checkets. Looking to send out. Kept here by Bessinger. Bessinger shakes the defense and hits another three. He's used to scoring sixes. Today, it's been threes for Trade and Bessinger. 10 seconds left in the half. High post, turnaround, Fulmer rattles out, rebounded by Bessinger. Davis can score quickly. Atwater across the timeline will pull up for three. No, and Davis after trailing by 11. They've got a three-point lead on the road. You're watching Davis High Basketball on the Rewind Sports Network. Getting ready to start our second half, 38-35. Davis leading Layton. It was a 22-11 to 11 game at one point, I believe. And uh, it was an 11-point lead. Seven and a half to go in that first half before Davis came storming back to take the lead. First half stats, well, they're interesting. No free throws taken by Davis. Eight of 10 at the line for Layton. Meanwhile, seven offensive rebounds for the Lancers, just one offensive board for the darts. Everything else pretty comparable, except for the shooting percentage. 
16 of 28 from the floor for Davis, 57%. 11 of 29 from the floor for Layton, 38% from the floor. Both have been similar from long range uh, and other statistics as well. Rebounding, steals, turnovers, etc. cetera. As uh, this foul going to go on Layton early. This will be called on Romer, and that will be the first on Sam. Unofficial scoring at the break for the Lancers. Romer and Katoa with nine apiece. Two with four. Tidwell had three and three players with two apiece. Good balance there for the Lancers as Katoa had all of his points in that second quarter. How about Atwater on the take? Largest Davis lead of the game now as Atwater has seven. 14 for Fisher in that first half with 10 of them in the second quarter. 10 for Bessinger. Five for Morgan and Atwater and a pair for Taylor and Rouse is on the other end is KJ Miller on the drive and bucket. Six for KJ. And here's Atwater. That one's stolen by Katoa. Fisher racing back and gonna be called here for the foul. As Fisher picking up, I believe his third. Caleb Taylor has four, but he's on the floor here. Fisher just picking up his third. Ralph's running to the table as David Katoa here to the free throw line to take a pair. And the first free throw won't go for David. Ralph's coming on here for Taylor. And the David Davis student section chanting a little louder now. Katoa's second free throw won't go. 0 for 2 for Katoa. And this is going to stay here. Here's KJ. Bessinger defending KJ. Boy, what a good take. Able to size it up, KJ. With a pair of buckets in this third quarter. Atwater. Good defense there by Tidwell, looking for help. And a timeout going to be taken here by Davis, trying to save that possession. Timeout darts. 30 second timeout. We'll step aside, be back. You're watching Davis High Basketball on the Rewind Sports Network. Davis Basketball. Three timeouts left for the darts. In the corner, Atwater trying to work against Katoa. 10 on the shot clock. Fisher. Oh, nice spin. Going off the glass. That won't go for Zach. Boy, great move there on Tidwell. But Fisher had that just come off strong. KJ, a little step back. No. Fisher with the board. Morgan. He'll go wash. And it's Bessinger inside. Boy, what a night for trading Bessinger. Average six points a game coming into the contest tonight. He's in double figures. Speaking of double figures, Romer has just joined him. 11 now for Sam, his first two-point field goal of the contest. Bessinger! I don't know. That young man might want to trade in the uh, shoulder pads for a basketball. My goodness. What a start for him is a foul here on the other end on Davis. And I'm just teasing. Bessinger, he's got a great future in football, but he's showing that young man can play on the hardwood as well. 15 for Bessinger as he'll pick up the foul as well. That'll be his second. That felt like a bit of a heat check shot from Traden as they've got some moisture. And they're working, I believe, to get cleaned up. Free throws here for KJ. Two free throws for Miller. KJ goes one for two as that second 
going to go down for the senior. Bessinger defended by KJ. Here's Atwater. Oh, nice job to win that help. Speaking of help, Katoa comes flying over for the block. Makai. Looking to drive. Sends to Romer. Makai left open. He'll take the three. No, the tap won't go. But it's a putback for Kate Tidwell. Right spot at the right time for the senior. Fisher had a step there on Katoa, but blocked. Fisher thought there was contact. No call coming. Step through by Romer and the lead back to Layton. Morgan working off the screen, lost it. Midway point of our third quarter, it's Layton basketball and the Lancers finding a little bit of momentum here. Here's Katoa. Won't go, and it's last touch by Davis. Inbounded to Katoa, but left it short off the front of the rim. Fisher. Trying to get to the rim. Oh, count the bucket. KJ called for his third. What a shot by Zach Fisher. And a chance to go to the line for the three-point play. I'm talking about these two teams coming into action tonight. Their regular season records, their region records so impressive. Layton number one in the RPI. Davis number five in the RPI coming into games tonight. A win for Davis could potentially launch them into the four or five. It'd be huge for the darts in their RPI seating potentially. Here's Romer. Katoa back out to Sam. Finds his way to the paint. Tough wrap around. Won't go for Romer. Tapped up and kept alive. A three for Layton. No, and Fisher with the rebound. That second look was by Tidwell, and it was a great job by Fulmer to keep it alive. Other end, left it short. Katoa came over to defend. Now Makai on the run, has a couple men with him. Makai spinning around. Crafty finish, but it won't go down as Layton has left a couple off the front of the rim here in this third quarter, but it will stay here with the Lancers. Substitution, check gets back on the floor. Just over three to go. Our clock's a little ahead, so we're just gonna let the official clock catch up here. They inbound to check it, couldn't handle it. Layton turning it over. Atwater, other end. No, the length of check it's disruptive. And then it's nearly given up, but kept by Katoa. And going to be called here on the contact is Connor Swap. And it will be Katoa back to the free throw line. Two here for David Katoa. And the first good. Double figures now for David. Tied up. Atwater. 
Bessinger. Check has come out on him. Denied by Check it again. Well, he's got to have four blocks tonight. Into traffic, contact, no whistle. Morgan coming away with it. Morgan sends out Fisher on the drive and a foul here as Chekets came over to defend. He'll be whistled for the foul. It'll be his first. And Zach Fisher to the free throw line here for Davis. Third team foul on Layton. Three team fouls for Davis as well in this third. The lead pushed back to two. And Peyton Chamberlain now coming on the floor as Zach Fisher will head to the bench, get a little rest. Katoa trying to drive, sends out three here for Fulmer. Count the bucket. A foul on the closeout as the three from Fulmer is good. And he'll head to the line for the four point play. As the foul called on Chamberlain who had just come on the floor. Fisher checking back in here. And that free throw off the back of the rim, rebound by Katoa. Another three, that one won't go. Tapped around, kept by Chekets, going up. Too strong, rebounded there by Bessinger. Davis can have numbers if they push. Morgan sends to Atwater, looking to drive baseline, hanging, won't go, and now a foul. Boy, Coach Sims probably set his vertical there. He was so desperate for a foul, and the official there calling it will send Atwater here to the line. Katoa called for his first. Two free throws here for Coleman. And good on the first. Two for two, the lead back to the darts. Makai, catch and shoot. Catch, shoot, and score. The first three for Makai Martin. In fact, I have it as his first field goal tonight. The only other points he had came from the line. Morgan sends out Atwater. A response won't go. Tapped up and last touched by Layton. It'll stay. Oh, they lost Chamberlain, and he makes them pay. Peyton Chamberlain with the three. I did not have that on my bingo card coming into the game tonight. But Davis will take it. The lead back to the darts, 55-54. Katoa, that shot won't go, rebounded by Morgan. Bessinger sends out Chamberlain again. No. Lancers trying to run. Lance and all, and Martin too strong. What we've seen leading with a couple of those as the shot clock turned off here for these final 21 seconds. Here's Bessinger, defended by Katoa. Atwater, 10 to go in the quarter. 
They get the switch. Atwater looking to drive. Help coming over. Hanging and scoring. Coleman Atwater, a crafty play. The heave. And that will do it for our third. The darts continue to hold on to a three-point lead in your region championship. Number five leading number one as we head to the fourth. Eight to go. 57-54, Davis leading each team, scoring 19 in that third quarter. What a game. Layton had the big lead in the first half, early in that first half. Well, early in the second quarter, <clears throat> led by 11. Davis came back, back and forth here in the third. For the darts, Fisher with 19, Bessinger with 15, Atwater with 11. Meanwhile, for the Lancers, 13 for Romer, 11 for Katoa. And that defensed by Chamberlain. Davis gets the stop to start the fourth quarter. Morgan lets the defense fly by, but couldn't take advantage. Mackay able to secure it. KJ. Tied up as KJ, now the third Lancer in double figures tonight. Atwater trying to drive. That's a tough spot. KJ pushing it, sends out Katoa on the trail. The paint's open. <laughs> Give me the ball because I'm going to duck it. David Katoa gives a lead back to Layton. That pass deflected out will stay here. Substitution, Caleb Taylor back in the game. Remember, he picked up his fourth back in the second quarter. Had a little spurt of time in the third. But just checking back in here, 6.46 to go. In the fourth, here's Morgan. Atwater will pull. Baseline jumper for Coleman Atwater. That was as the shot clock was winding down. Nice job there by the 6'3 junior guard, Coleman Atwater. Fisher defending, Katoa got the step to the rim, no. A trio of darts. Made it tough for Katoa to finish, here's Fisher. Sends out. Here's Morgan, boy Layton really extending this man defense, trying to make it tough on Davis, 15 on the shot clock. Atwater, shot clock down to seven. Time to go to work, Coleman. Extra pass out, Morgan, the open three. Again, as the shot clock was winding down, Davis makes him pay with the Ike Morgan three. Katoa. Here's Tidwell, zone look for the darts. Miller, that's a really tough shot. KJ Miller is feeling it. That is not your standard catch and shoot. He's not angled, but it doesn't matter. When KJ's feeling it, he's as good as they come as he answers for the Lancers. Morgan near half court, plenty of room there. Taking the bump, working back is too strong. Coming flying in is Taylor for the offensive board. Morgan looking to drive, hands off to Taylor. Oh, what vision. It's the three by Morgan and then the dime. 
Here's Katoa. And a foul here as Morgan was coming over to help there defensively. And I think the question is who gets it? It will be Ike. And Zach Fisher was very interested. That could have been his fourth, but it is called on Morgan. I think the right call there. So a timeout here taken by Davis. 4.09 to go. Late in basketball. You're watching Davis basketball on the Rewind Sports Network. If you want Leighton possession baseline. Leighton has all five timeouts remaining, only two left for the darts. KJ, a pair of threes here in this fourth quarter, 15 in the contest. Unofficially the leading score for Leighton. Tried to make it 18, was just short. And Morgan, he has made his impact felt these last two minutes as he comes in for that rebound. Here's Atwater. Oh, Martin with the crafty read, the steal and finish. And a timeout taken by Kelby Miller. He'll use his first. It's a full. We'll take it with him and be back. Davis basketball, Morgan. Oh, they left the interior and coming over, Romer gonna be called here for the foul. Bessinger was all alone inside and Romer didn't have a lot of option on that play. He'll pick up his second as that's the first team foul on Leighton in this fourth quarter and it will send Bessinger to the line. I don't know that he's been there yet tonight. But boy, what an offensive night for Traden. Now at 16 after making the first. It's a good free throw shooting team in the darts. 73% as a team coming in. A reminder, they did not take a free throw in that first half. But in the second half, they've had multiple attempts and by and large have capitalized on them. Miller. Boy, almost lost that, sticking with it. And Bessinger here gonna be called for the foul. And that'll be, I believe, the third on Traden. So back-to-back -back fouls on Bessinger. We'll send Miller to the line here to shoot a pair. Big second half for KJ. Had just four at the break, a free throw, and a three. But boy, he's looked like a different player in this second half. His last regular season, Davis Layton game, and he is doing all he can to come away with the win. Unofficially 17 for KJ. Bessinger coming off that screen and finished too strong. Off the glass in the rim, Layton with the board. Pair of ones, Mackay will pull the three, no, off the mark. And the rebound gathered by Taylor for the darts. Morgan, head of steam, trying to get past Mackay. Ike Morgan has made several critical plays for the darts here in this fourth. That one gives him the lead back. Just over two to go, KJ open. And the closeout there, Atwater. Coming into the body will send KJ back to the free throw line. Oh, my bad. That was on the floor, third team foul. Thrown into space, and Katoa able to call the time out there. So it will be late in basketball. When we come back, two to go. We'll reset things here. I got tripped up a little bit there. We were taking so many free throws. I lost count of the fouls. Three team fouls on Davis, one team foul on Layton. The Layton defense can be mighty aggressive here. They got a lot of room to work over these last two minutes of play. Davis just the one foul to give. Here's KJ. 
Nice spin move, getting to the rim. It's been a second half. It's been all K.J. Miller. And this fourth quarter, well, the second half hasn't been all K.J. The fourth quarter certainly has been as Davis drawn the contact here inside. And this will go on Romer, his third. Will send Bessinger to the line here for Davis to shoot two. Made a pair just a moment ago. And Traden looking to give the lead back to the darts. Too long. Splitting the trip. One for two for Bessinger. One point game, 145 to go. Trying to set up a screen. Read by Davis Martin. The drive through the paint. Able to finish at the rim. That's a play he's been able to make since he was a freshman. Bessinger back out to Morgan. Ike, that lane opened up. Ike with the answer for Davis. Seven in the quarter for Ike, 12 in the contest. The fourth Davis dart in double figures tonight. Inside of a minute to go. Layton, the three, rims out and rebounded by Taylor. A good look for Tidwell that Layton thought was going down. It did not. Davis basketball, 40 seconds to go, 22 on the shot clock. We're just going to pause our clock here because it's a little ahead. Morgan, the drive. Wouldn't go. Loose ball scooped up there by the Lancers. Here comes Mackay. Numbers for Layton. Gives inside. Tidwell kicks out. Katoa the three. And a timeout as David Katoa able to hit the three to give Layton the two-point lead. Nineteen seconds left. Davis basketball when we come back. What a game. Nineteen seconds left. Leighton has trailed most of this second half as we welcome in all of our viewers, our friends from across the state, but especially here in Davis County, including all of those Tates out there. Good evening to you. What a shot by David Katoa. 73-71, the Leighton lead. Davis basketball. They lost. The darts did 72-70. In the matchup at Davis High just a couple weeks ago, they trail by two here with a shot to tie or take the lead. Atwater finds that baseline open. Wouldn't get the finish to go, and the loose ball gathered by Taylor. Bessinger for the lead. No! Into the corner, out of play with 1.5 seconds left. It's Leighton basketball. And Coach Miller gonna take a time out. Two good looks for Davis. One at the rim. Tough. They get the tap out. They corral it. And then the three from a shooter who's been dialed in tonight in Bessinger just off the mark. Three fouls. Three team fouls for Davis. They still have a foul to give. So an immediate foul, we're still not shooting for the Lancers. Both coaches trying to talk through how they want to play out this final here tonight. We talk about Leighton coming in, undefeated in region play, 6-0, Davis 5-1. A win for the Lancers would give them a two-game lead atop this ever so deep region one. And seemingly a stranglehold on a region championship. The number one team in 6A, the Lancers. Davis, the number five ranked team. One more time. Trying to avoid the sweep. Layton basketball in the corner. 1.5 seconds left.
KJ will run it out. The Leighton Lancers had a double-digit lead in the first half. Go by the wayside, but in the end, it was the senior KJ Miller and the senior David Katoa with your game-winning three as Leighton sweeps Davis in the regular season. In the second matchup, 73-71 Lancers. Your players of the game. Got to go with KJ Miller for the Lancers. Unofficially tonight, 19 points, including nine of those, excuse me, 10 of those coming in the fourth quarter. And then for the Davis starts, we got to call out a heck of a night for Bessinger and Ike Morgan. Ike made play after play to keep Davis in this game late, but it's the Lancers coming out on top. 73-71, your final, as Layton gets the win and improves a 7-0 in region play. Want to remind you, Davis basketball on the Rewind Sports Network. You can catch every Davis game. We'll have Davis for you again this week as they continue region play, trying to bounce back from the loss here tonight. You can see Davis basketball only on kslsports.com. For Vince Francis, my name is Dane Stewart. Thank you for joining us. And remind you to catch all Davis and all your postseason basketball only on the Rewind Sports Network on kslsports.com. Good night, everybody.